This is the result of this tutorial. Hey there, welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to add audio through the library in ActionScript 3.0. This is what we're working with. We have this keypad and if the user presses these keys, we want to play some some kind of sound. And if the input here is incorrect to the to what's stored and the user presses enter, it'll also play a sound, but it'll be different than the rest. Also, if you would like to know how to create this keypad in in Adobe Flash through ActionScript 3.0, please check out the first link in the description on the tutorial I made for this keypad. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Next, go to library. If it's not there or you don't see it, go up to window and make sure the library option is checked. Afterwards, go to the location where your audio files are stored, select them all, and drag it to flash and then into library. If you'd like to download these audio files, go to the first link in the description below to download it for yourself. Next, right click on one of the audio, click properties, go to action script, click export for action script, and check export in frame one. And in class, write the word class after your name. Make sure the name um, is something similar to this. The first part will be the name that your mp3 is named, then will be class. Click OK. And don't click don't show again if you'd like, and click OK. Then do the same with the other audio. Okay, all right, and now open up action script. Go to the very top here, we'll create two new variables. First one, name var, then name it, whatever name you have, for your mp3. It doesn't have to be the same. Just make sure it's something similar so you can recognize what it means. And colon, keypad, class so that the program knows what to reference. That's the name we created when we went to properties, action script. Just make sure it's the same as that. Then click equals new keypad class. Now you're gonna do the same with the other, the other sound. Denied. Denied class equals new. Denied class and do the same with however many audio that you have and next whoops I already have it here but you're gonna go to and the event listener function so in this case so we're gonna play the audio after the user clicks so we're gonna have to add a code right here inside for the event listener function and here we're gonna play this out so the user is clicking number one, so we're going to play the sound keypad. Now, let's test this. As you can see, as you can hear, when I press one, it plays that sound. Now we're going to do the same with the rest of the buttons except for enter. Alright, so now in enter, we're going to be playing the denied sound. So this here is if password or passcode is, inc is incorrect, then we want to play the denied dot play. So all right, now let's check the denied. There we go. I have a small bug here. I'm not sure why that's happening. But that's okay. I'll fix it later. That's not really part of the tutorial. But yeah, that's simply it. Alright, I think that's because of this error right here. Let me check that real quick. Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go. So now, all the sounds is playing. Press enter, it'll place a denied sound. So that's basically it. Please remember to rate the video if you found it useful. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.